everyone, I am Emily. We are here today at Motor City Comic Con. I'm here with Jim Cummings, who is probably, you may not recognize his face, but I guarantee you have heard him before. You have voiced over 400 roles, I think it is. Probably. So here's my main question. Yeah. With 400 roles, how do you remember the difference between the way you voice those characters? Do you have to go back and listen to yourself before you do voiceovers? Very rarely. You know, I, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I just, I'm schizophrenic and we are too. And so we just go right to the individual character. So you really have no trouble differentiating between them? No. no. That's amazing. <coughs> well, kind of used to it now. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so, uh, you have voiced Winnie the Pooh, you voiced Tigger, you voiced Darkwing Duck, you voiced, I, I heard that there was something that happened with the song Be Prepared in Lion King. Did you help I with that? It. No, I sang the song. So Jim you're a Aaron singer spoke. too? You've heard me sing a thousand times. <laughs> so what's your background in music? Well, singing and playing drums. Okay, playing drums. Yeah, you, you've been doing that since you were a kid? Lead singer of the California Raisins. And, you were the lead singer of the California Raisins? I know. I mean, yes. <laughs> wow, that's yeah. amazing. And Anastasia, and Pocahontas, Lion King, uh, you know, some songs and all of those. Was music part of your upbringing? Oh, yeah. What what type of music did you listen to well, as a I kid? Was always, I was always the white kid in the band. You know, I was the drummer and the singer. And Temptation songs, Miracles, you know, Sly and the Family Stone. Sure. You know, all that stuff. You know, child of the 60s. So, so what made you go towards voice acting um, as opposed to like musical theater or something where you're performance based? Well, I did a lot of uh, musical theater, that's for sure. But uh, that's also what helped me, you know, aim toward voice acting. I, I always, when I saw Mel Blanc on uh, the Jack Benny program when I was five, I thought, you know, my dad told me, he goes, you see this guy? He, he's the one who does Bugs Bunny and Tasmanian Devil and all, you know, Daffy Duck. And I, I thought, well, he's not having to stand in the corner for being weird, so I'll do that. And so I did. Sure. Yeah. So do you have a studio in your home or do you usually go in? Both. Both? Yeah. Has your work, did your work slow down at all because of the pandemic or is this something that you were able to do throughout? Well, it's uh, slowed down. That's for sure. But, uh, you know, we finished up Curious George and we're still doing uh, Mickey Mouse Funhouse. So, yeah, you know, different projects there and there. Well, Shark Week, etc. Well, thank you so much for taking a moment to chat with us. Jim Cummings, everybody. Thank you.